everybody it is the last raider we are back with another video and yes this is a kid's cartoon and yes your kids should go watch it because it doesn't give in to the whole how do i put this it doesn't do the cal art style it's got its own unique art style and uh it's a little simplistic but it is actually very enjoyable to watch <laughs> i've watched bluey with my kid and uh Honestly, I will say the first two seasons, because I, I am hoping they will make more seasons of it, but the first, the, the two seasons that are out right now, which are the first two, uh, they are very much worth watching with your kid, especially if you have younger kids. They will love every minute of it. I can't tell you how many times my kid has forced me to play Shadowlands and Keep Yeppy. Every time there's a balloon in the house, we're playing Keep Yeppy now. I've lost weight. I'm not going to lie. So anyway, what is going on with Blue with this small kids show from Australia? Well, <clears throat> what is happening now is the show has gained popularity. I believe it's now on either Nickelodeon or Disney. I can't remember who is pushing it. I want to say Disney is now pushing it in the states. It was on Amazon, I believe, for a while. You had to specially order it. But it has become so popular, there are now toys being, uh, dolls being put now inside of stores. It's become popular enough, and unfortunately this is what ultimately happens with popular things, that the woke left has now decided to take notice of it. Um, and they're try they want to do with Bluey what they've done with Marvel, what they're currently doing with DC, what they've done to Western movies, Western TV shows, video games, and what they want and which they, they wish and hope they could do to anime, but about the best they can do is redub the anime to push their beliefs, which is already pissing off people. Uh, let me let me say this right now. Subs are for Chab, Chads. Dubs are for virgins, all right? If you have to dub your anime in order to enjoy it, you have to have a perfect dub. You are You are a virgin. If there is an English dub, I will watch it. But if there is an anime that I want to watch, hey, we are going to watch with subtitles. I am there for the anime, not the English. All right? I don't need English to enjoy an anime. I'm that Chad. But anyway, there is now being a push saying that Bluey is not diverse enough. Now, you have to remember something with SJWs. When they say something is not diverse, they are being racist towards it. But their excuses are based in nuance. For example, one woman already who is from, uh, I believe the article is from Pink. And one of the problems that they're saying that, that is wrong with Bluey is it's not diverse enough. Now they sit back and they're like, well, we're, we're looking for black dogs and everything else. She's also saying she does, that the show is just a perfect representation of a middle class nuclear family. For those who don't know, SJWs hate the nuclear family. They hate the concept of a man and a woman in the home taking care of the kids, staying together, and the woman not divorcing the man. Okay? They don't like men and women working together for the betterment of the next generation. Think about that for a moment. Okay? They don't like our generation benefiting from men and women working in tandem with each other. Not one lording over the other, working as equals to the better to the common goal of a better generation. They hate that. They don't like when you have when when you have kids being raised when you have a representation of this because what they want is either the same sex in the home teaching the kids or they would rather the family members get divorced. They would rather a divorce happen, kick the man out of the relationship entirely, that's what they would ultimately have done, and then just have the women run it. it is a weird SJ and we gotta remember SJWism comes into this form of weird ass feminism that's come up nowadays. <clears throat> but they are going after Bluey, and this is the reason. It's become popular, and instead because SJWs cannot create, they must co opt. It is the Borg. I did this analogy years ago about how the SJWs are the Borg, okay? Um, 
Lower your expectations when they come into a fandom. It's lower your expectations and prepare to be assimilated. Your culture, your geek culture will adapt to service our woke agenda. Resistance is futile. That's where this is coming from. They cannot create their own Bluey. If, if This is the thing that I have told people and people in Comicsgate have told everyone. Stop taking characters that have been established and trying to make them gay, trying to make them trans, or trying to race swap them or gender swap them or whatever. And just go make your own character that is like that. That's why we have 15 different iterations of Spider-Man. We have a female Asian Spider-Man. We have a black Mexican Spider-Man. We now have a white girl Spider-Man. We have regular Spider-Man. Why do you need all these iterations of Spider-Man? Why can't these all be different heroes? Well, they are different heroes. No, you basically took Spider-Man's power set and threw it into multiple different areas. By the way, also, they took Spider-Man and put him through superpower. He has to pay superpower alimony to his wife, Mary Jane Watson, so she can obtain half his powers. He must be diminished to a lesser Spider-Man so his wife can now become a Spider-Man as well. There's no uniqueness to the character, nothing anymore in Marvel. Um, but what's going on here is the same mentality. I mean, Bluey hits hard subjects. It, it's not just a dumb, joking show. I would say Pepper Pig would be more immature than Bluey is. And Bluey hits hard stuff. There's one where Bluey and her dad find a bird. They try to save it, and the bird doesn't make it. And so Bluey's kind of crying about it, and... So her dad has to explain to her, you know, sometimes things die. Sometimes, kid, there's nothing you can do. You have to accept. You do everything that you can, and when it doesn't go your way, you have to accept. You just have to find joy in the fact that you tried. Sometimes you fail. And that's a good lesson for a kid to learn. Because if you learn that sometimes you're going to fail, you learn to deal with it. You learn next time what to do and do better. There's one where uh, Bluey learns that learns from watching the younger pups out there failing constantly trying to get certain tasks done. She starts feeling sad because they can't get the task done, but her dad tells her, you know, sit back and watch, let them do their thing. Because if they learn to persevere, they'll keep going. And she watches. They start learning to persevere. There are, the dogs learn, Bluey learns acceptance. Other dogs learn acceptance. They do fun things. There's a lot of fun in it, but there's a lot of good things. However, SJWs, what do they want in there? They want your kid thinking about who they're going to fuck at six years old. They want your kid to worry about whether the person that they're having sex with is the right person societally to be having sex with. Okay? They want them to worry about, well, you know, this, this kid looks different than me, so they have to be treated differently. That's the type of agenda they want to push. And so it's never about the betterment of society. It's about... They have an agenda, and they can't create something popular to push their agenda because nobody likes their agenda, period. And they have no nuance about their agenda. So they're going to go into Bluey and try to co-opt the show. This is what will happen over the next month, next several months, probably the next year. There will be attempts to co-opt Bluey, and Bluey will either bend the knee or Bluey will resist. There is a resistance movement right now being started and being and growing rapidly in Australia. There is pushback from the Australian culture to the woke agenda. We're starting we're seeing pushback in our country but it's becoming even more prevalent in Australia and in some European countries are recognizing this as well. So I figure if Bluey goes the route of resisting it, then there will be calls to completely cancel it and take it off the air which at that point, Disney will comply. We already know Disney will do it. Disney has no balls. Uh, Nickelodeon, uh, Nick has a little bit more testicular fortitude. They have not deleted Chase off of Paw Patrol when there was a demand for Chase to be removed because he was a police pup. And it's like, it's a police dog. Deal with it. But I would like to end the video recognizing one thing the people that are calling for diversity in bluey do not understand australian culture the blue healer is a unique dog to australian culture unique breed they are a combination of several doving dogs and australian dingoes 
Bluey's brother, Bingo, has more diversity in his DNA than the entire woke crowd combined. And they're too damn stupid to do some basic research and know that. So Australians, be sure to point that out, that Bluey, by genetic default, is more diverse than most of these woke white liberals who want to remove it from your shows. Anyway, folks, I'm The Last Raider. Be sure to like, comment. Those are the two best things you can do for the channel right now because that boosts the channel faster than anything else. Also, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. And as always, stay safe, stay frosty. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye now.